let's talk about lens. So I'm a Nikon shooter and I have about six different types of lens. And I was one of those people that believed that prime lens were the best lens. And I still relatively believe that they are probably sharper than most zoom lens out there. But the versatility, being able to have that versatility in a zoom lens is such a beautiful thing. I have a 70 to 200 that I literally just updated the lens for my Z8 recently. You can actually check out how to update your lens up there. And it is such a great lens to have in an event. So whenever I'm doing an event, best believe that lens will be in my bag. Also, I have the 70 to 20, 70 to 24, 24 to 70. Another great lens, and this is my utility lens. Whenever anybody asks me what lens I should take or what lens they should take to go somewhere, I'm always telling them, look for a good low aperture, 2.8. If you can go lower, great, but typically zooms don't go lower than 2.8. I think Canon has a few or has one or two. Well, with Nikon, it's 2.8 is the lowest aperture for a zoom lens. And it, it's, it's perfect for what you need. It's great in low light and it, it's, you can use, it's useful for video as well. So you can get a little bit both of those things. Then comes this 14 to 24, which I wouldn't say it's always in my bag, but if I'm doing an event and I wanna carry something or I wanna have a different kind of viewpoint and have like maybe a panoramic, a panoramic kind of a picture, I always bring this along just to get some of those good shots at the beginning. I wish it had a smaller ring for a filter, but that's something we can talk about later in regards to this particular lens. But I do have what is called the Trinity of lens. So I have the these three here. I still do have prime lens that I wanna discuss a little bit later, but we have the 85 1.8 lens. Great, I do a lot of product photography with this one actually to get some really nice close-up shots. I used to dabble in some beauty shots in the past. I still do a few of them here and there and I like getting these little macro shots. I have a 105 macro 2.8, which is really, really sharp. And I have my 35 1.8 that I'm using right now to shoot this video. I got a chance to actually borrow or use a lens from Nikon. I believe it was the 24, 24 to, no, it wasn't 24 to 70. I can't remember what it was actually, but it worked, it was really, really good. And it was good for zoom. It was a zoom lens that didn't actually come out. So it was great for video. And I did a video on it regarding how good it was. You could check it up there as well. And that lens was, was a very useful lens. So when people ask, what lens do you think is the best lens? I think it's based on the situation you're in. It has a lot of good lens that you can go out there and buy. I'm not a big fan of the 50, 50 mil. There's the 50 mil 2.8, there's a 50 mil 1.2. I believe they just brought out a 50 mil 1.4, sorry, 1.8, but I, I don't know. I just find 50 to be a very boring perspective. I like 35, I like 24. I just found that 50 is something that I always started, I started out with my first camera I bought and I found it very boring. And I know there's a lot of people out there telling me there's a lot of usefulness for a 50 and I, and I agree. I, I totally agree. It got me through a lot of things in the very beginning, trying to learn how to walk, move in with my feet and move out with my feet and kind of manually move to get that kind of zoom. But I just found after a while, I just decided I'm never gonna have a 50 mil lens again. And I haven't since that time. So I just wanted to come on here and just talk a little bit about the lens I have and maybe have answer some questions if anybody has any questions regards to any of the lens I kind of just talked about. Once again, I have the 70 to 24, the 24 to the 70 to 200, the 14 to 24, 105 macro 2.8, the 85 1.8, and the 35 1.8. But if anybody has any questions about any of the lens I have, please reach out in the comments and let me know. And I can tell you how they work with the Z8, I can see some files and how they work with the Z7 too.